Hey guys, this is Tech Trainer Josh here, and today I will be sharing my thoughts with you on Logitech's Elite MX Master Mouse. Now this is Logitech's most lucrative mouse capping out at an MSRP of nearly $100. So the question is, does it live up to the steep price tag? Well, let's take a look. This is a wireless mouse that is geared for productivity and it shows. With a pretty intense ergonomic design, this mouse is sculpted to fit perfectly into anyone's hand, big or small. I've surveyed multiple users with this mouse and we all have come to the same conclusion that this thing is badass. With its steep incline and cleverly molded thumb rest, this mouse is an absolute pleasure to use. Our left and right clicks are nothing special, they do have a nice feel to them, however it is anything special that I haven't seen from Logitech, especially coming from one of their mid-range wireless mice. Aside from its outstanding ergonomics, the MX Master does have some excellent traits on board, and we'll start with the vertical scroll wheel. This scroll wheel is really just excellent, it has a great feeling to it when you're scrolling with it, it's kind of hard to describe, but it just has a good feel to it when you're scrolling through web pages and whatever you're doing, it just has a good little bump to it when you're, when you're trying to scroll. Does that make sense? It probably didn't. Just trust me that when you get your hands on this mouse, it'll feel good. And in addition to this, it also does feature a hyper scroll functionality too, which pretty much allows you to scroll super duper fast. Let me explain that for you. So pretty much this is how it works. When you start scrolling pretty fast with the scroll wheel, it will recognize that and let the scroll wheel just go free and just go view. It's pretty awesome, and it's very useful for whether you're going through your timeline on Twitter, or going through group chats, or editing videos in Adobe Premiere. It is useful, and at first I was skeptical about this, and I couldn't get used to it, but I mean now, after a few days, I, I don't even know how I got by without it. It's kind of weird. But, I mean, adding to that, adding to its practicality, it is very easy to trigger this. If you want to just get back from, you know, super fast scroll to, you know, normal. It's easy. It's not like it takes an extra second or two to get back to normal. The second that you click it back, it just goes boom. You're good. It's awesome. It's very useful. Now, I specifically said vertical scroll wheel, and this was for a reason. The MX Master also comes with a horizontal scroll wheel. <laughs> awesome! Personally, I haven't had much usage out of this besides while video editing, however, this can easily be a selling point to others. To the side of this scroll wheel, we do find two macros, which personally I found a bit out of the way for practical use. If they moved the horizontal scroll wheel over just a little bit with these two buttons, I would be more satisfied. Luckily, I'm not usually the one to use these macros, and to be frank, if I were, I'd buy a gaming mouse. Under all this, we find our matte thumb rest, which, by the way, feels very nice. And this actually does contain a button that you can press with your thumb. Contrary to other reviews online, I did find this button pretty easy to click and, I mean, yeah, other people said it was kind of out of the way and just not very fluid. I could picture this in my daily routine very fluidly, but, I mean, I just couldn't fit into my daily routine. Yet. So anyway, by default, this button will go to your task view on Windows 10, which will show you all of your active windows. But for me, I do have three monitors, so I don't really have a use for that. Yeah. Well, the great thing about this mouse is that everything on it is programmable with Logitech software, which personally I found very sufficient. So whether you want to reverse your left and right click for some reason, or program the little button under the scroll wheel, or set your thumb button to open a calculator, this software has plenty of options. Another cool feature that is embedded in the software is called gestures, another spec that I haven't really found useful, but I mean, it seems pretty cool and maybe useful for some other people. Gestures pretty much allows you to hold down that thumb button that we were talking about before over here, and while you're doing that, just drag the mouse in a certain direction, and doing so will activate something that you program in the Logitech software. So I think by default, like, if you hold it down and drag up, it goes to your start menu or whatever it is. Download the software and you can explore that and you can program it to do whatever you want. So, for example, you can hold down the thumb button and drag it down your desk. So while you're holding down the thumb button, it will minimize all your windows or you know, whatever you want to do. A couple of things I would like to just note before we finish off, the MX Master also features Logitech's Dark Field Laser Technology, which is really just a fancy way of saying, hey, this thing works on glass, which is a nice feature for those that need it, but, um, you know, it's also on some other mice, and, you know, it's something crazy special. But it's worth noting, and also the battery on this thing is pretty sweet. 40 days, I mean, my old one had, like, a crazy, like, two or three year battery. The old one is known for its battery, though, that I was using. This thing, 40 days is pretty sweet on one charge, and on Honestly, from my experience so far, I've been very satisfied with that. To sum things up, the MX Master is an excellent product and I love it, but it's only for the right person. So if your priorities are wireless mice, 
and ergonomics and some other features that I didn't mention like it can connect up to three devices and you know it's Bluetooth and just other little things if those are your priorities then this is for you this is the mouse it is rather steep with the price tag as I mentioned but I mean Honestly, it is premium, it is quality, and it is it is quality. It is a great mouse. I love it. It was a Christmas gift, so I don't have to buy it, but um you know hey, that that's up for debate. I will say to you guys though that if you're looking for a solid mouse that just feels comfortable, works great, and is not too terrible for gaming either, you can still use this mouse for gaming. This is a solid competitor. It doesn't have a whole lot of macros on it, but if you're just looking for something that's comfy cozy and has the hyper scroll on it and just all other neat little bells and whistles but is not too crazy overkill then this is the mouse for you anyway with that being said i hope you enjoyed this review of the logitech mx master i haven't done any reviews i don't think yet so let me know how this review was give me some feedback in the comment section below if you liked it or didn't like it or you know whatever it is you know you guys know the deal so hit the subscribe button if you are new of course for more tech videos like this my goal is to post a video a week or at least, at least two months. At least two months. Just start things simple. Just, just quality videos. That is the goal. I can't make any commitments to anything, but quality over quantity is what I can promise you guys. And I hope you did enjoy this one. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.